All right, so I'm halfway done with the sun, um, I don't know what you call this. It's a kind of like a, a, a tower on casters. But uh, there's some pretty fun stuff in here. So I figured I'd bring you along. I'll do a quick recap. Um, all I did was take off the front plate. Um, the power supplies I took out, the power supplies I took out and I put off to the side. I'll show you those in just a second. But uh, uh, the thing that caught my attention the most is this ram right here. But this whole thing is on a drawer. So it's just stuck. And I figured out what's, what it's stuck on. It's stuck on this wire right there. And now the drawer should be able to come all the way out. Oh, uh, correction. It's stuck on these two. Come on, there we go. Oh, I mangled it enough. Okay, so we got those out. Let's see, maybe the drawer will come out now. It's not exactly light. I should probably just go get my tripod. Uh, it's not exactly light. Um, instead of making it the shakiest video ever, let me uh, go get my tripod. It occurred to me as I was getting my tripod that I didn't welcome everybody. So here we go. Welcome to Bad Idea Metals. Um, so I got my hands on a few uh, Sun servers. Um, and uh, I was just in the middle of tearing it apart. You know, I, I don't record every single thing I do on this channel, but I like to show you guys what's interesting. This is interesting. So this whole unit, um, I think it's about 140 pounds with the power supplies and the hard drives and everything. The drives were taken out by the previous owner. And so um, this is considerably lighter, but uh, yeah, this whole, this whole motherboard, this whole server board is on a, a sliding rail system here. And that's what I was in the process of trying to show you. And I'm still connected with the power. Maybe now it'll work. Oh, nope, there's another ribbon. Man. Oh, there we go. There is the main board. So, on it, what do I see? Let's take a closer look. First off, uh, the CPU is going to be underneath this messy thing that I just mangled. Oh no, that is the CPU. Oh, that's a pretty slick CPU board. It's got a, a standard I've never seen before. It's, it's got two layers of pins, two deep, and it's both sides. It's got this nasty gunk on it. Uh, see if I can get that to come off. There we go. And on the board itself, we have individually heat synced components which looks like they're screwed down with a torque wrench. And then the CPU itself is down underneath this heat sink. And then it's got some pretty cool looking uh, uh, ICs on here, some ceramic chips. So I may not destroy this. I'm probably gonna take the heat sinks off because usually the components look pretty darn cool when they're, when they're exposed. So this is well, let's see, is there a model number on here? I'm sure there is. There's also all sorts of numbers on here. I don't know exactly what this is. We're gonna do some research. Okay, another thing that I thought was pretty cool was the ram on the other side looked pretty fascinating. So, let's see if there's an easy way to get these out. They're on this very interesting toggling system. <laughs> I have never seen this type of RAM before. Um, don't see any significant differentiating marks on here. 
but there's the RAM from this particular system. If we pull those out. Well, the good news is some of it is Samsung RAM. In fact, it's all Samsung. Uh, nope, this one's Mitsubishi. You can tell because the chips themselves will say where they are from. So these say SEC Korea. That's the Samsung uh, electronics. So got four modules of RAM to go with that CPU that I have no idea what it is called. And then there's all sorts of components. Like there's a, a grid down here of nine of these, these BGAs. We got two of these trimmed ones, thinner ones. And we got another three over here. I mean, this, this board is awesome. And we'll get to these expansions in just a second. But another fun thing is, this is littered with surface mount stuff. So, pretty cool board. And it's huge. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to do was take off our, uh, our expansion cards here. Okay, so this looks like a SCSI expansion. So you got your SCSI right there. This is PCI. Not too shabby. These aren't going to be high valued boards because they're pretty old. Um, I guess they're valuable to someone if you've got an old system and you need some boards for it, but in general, huh? There's a DEC card. I should tell you about how old this is. Um, this card was manufactured in 1996, or at least it was trademarked in 1996. Um, the, this, this technology is older. That's pretty fun. Here's our video ATI graphics 3D card. That's a 1996. So that dates this whole unit right there. Um, we've got, we've got a few cards coming out at 1996. What computers were in 96? That was a Pentium 3 right before the Pentium 4s came out. So yeah, this, this, uh, setup, it's a Sun server from about the Pentium 3 era. And this is another, uh, another SCSI connection right here. We got, uh, four different SCSIs, two external, two internal. And in fact, I think that's what was on this other one as well. Two different editions from the same company, Symbios and Symbios. So 1997 on that one. Anyway, actually they both say 97. So they must have a very specific use. It could be that they're data acquisition cards. So who knows? I can look into more of the specs and the reasons and all that, but for the most part, nobody ever seems to care when I destroy these, so we'll see. As for this, it's wonderful, huge board. I will take this apart further. Take all of this nonsense off the top and process the board. It has another SCSI port on the side, so this had its own SCSI controller. Anyway, let's see what else is hiding inside this case. Keep in mind, I wasn't going to do a video out of this. You guys are getting to see some fun stuff just because I thought it was pretty fun stuff. There we go. All right. So this is the power supply hook in or tie in. And then it distributes it out to all the different systems. Like the motherboard that was on this side. And... Uh, the uh, the drives, any other peripherals, they would have come off of this board here. But there you go. So I'm done with that one. And again, a little recap here. Here's our DIMMs, our memory modules that go with that CPU right there. We have four expansion slot cards, including a video card. 
and what looks like our network card it does have some sort of a, an interface that looks a lot like SCSI, but that's our network card. And then we got two SCSI cards. I don't know what this module does. And then there's the rest of our stuff. So all in all, and there's our sun tower. For more information, there's our serial number, our part number and everything else. I don't know if that's useful, but Here's our motherboard. So, that's a pretty nice board. Allowed for two CPUs on it. All right, that's gonna be my short video for this uh, for this tear part that I didn't even plan on doing. And uh, I'll get this out to you guys. I know I just finished a video about uh, about a sun system, the big one on casters. But here I got the Sunfire uh, V480, and I have two of them. And uh, I didn't know what was inside, but I've torn this first one half apart. And let me show you the stuff that I found in half of it, uh, knowing that I still have the other half to go, as well as the power supply. Um, but uh, inside, inside of these uh, these units, there are two. Um, complete systems it feels like they're uh, kind of like blade servers before blade servers were a thing but uh these uh these plugged in they have an entire bank of ram and you can see that the one below it it has that same bank of ram here's what the ram looks like there's 16 of these modules they're double-sided they've got lots of uh length on the fingers they're not as tall as some of the some of the other fingers for uh, for older style of machines, but uh, that's okay. Um, they're long. They're they're longer than a standard um, like uh, PC three or PC two for server. Um, the fact that it's got the legs. This is either DDR one or older. I'm guessing that this is going to be equivalent to like PC one hundred. Knowing that the uh, other system I took apart had uh, had that same age about it. Um, on here, there are uh, eight of these large BGAs that I like, and then there's a whole handful of these. They're much smaller BGAs that uh, they have the same fiber back that you can peel off, and I, I think that that's really sweet. Uh, there's MLCCs like crazy back here, huge ones. But uh, I'm actually saving my favorite part for last. So there's a whole bunch of expansion cards, um, similar. There's these, uh, there's these SCSI adapters. Um, this is a wireless network card. Uh, that's, um, actually it's a modem to be more precise, but uh, it's uh, funny because it, it uses cellular network. So this is a cellular card um, before Wi-Fi was a big thing, but it uses this PCMCIA card slot internally on a PCI bus. And then again, another video. Um, but here, these modules, these are these are pretty cool. And let me step back and show you. They're kind of like RAM in that they're expansion slots with fingers. They, uh, they fit in, for example, they fit in these almost ISA style adapters right here. And you just push them down in but they're really thick fingers. So the reason why I'm totally geeking out right now, um, I've got two of these machines and each machine has two of, of these, these units. And uh, it's totally crazy. And there's a back plane that these guys plug into and uh, they've got BGAs as well. In fact, you can see that there's heat sinks on three more right there, and I'm not positive, but uh, there might be two more right there, but then there's the two up here and whatever else is hidden by this other unit. Um, I mean, we can, we can possibly yank this out and just see. Not really a one-handed job here, but... <clears throat> well, there you go. I pulled that away. And you can see that there's more of these modules back here. Ouch. 
and you just undo them like you do ram and then you pull them off <laughs> that's crazy and uh it looks like these are going to be uh uh not the the type of bga that i'm after but they're still going to be pretty nice so there's two more bgas down there and uh yeah I, this 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 system this is crazy to me um i can't even begin to give it a value uh i i typically get about a dollar of return in gold on ram these are taller they've got crazy huge bgas um i don't process those but i do save them and i try to resell those as as potential palladium and silver scrap but the fact that each one of these is going to have 32 of those and uh, a handful of these and a handful of boards and more of these the uh, of these bgas that i like i mean all together this this unit is quite a gold mine for me I'm really excited to tear them apart and see what they actually will yield. But um, uh, the thunder's rumbling nearby, so I gotta I gotta put all my tools away and get inside here pretty soon. But uh, but yeah, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show what I was what I was working on today. Um, there are two power supplies down in there, so that's not even been re released yet. So I've got quite a bit left to do and uh i'm extremely excited by what i'm seeing so anyway uh i think i think now i'm officially going to turn this video off and uh and and wrap it up so uh, i'm sure i'm going to get a lot of uh, angry emails when i when i publish this because every time i publish the destruction of something older than 20 years i usually get a lot of uh um, negative attention so uh, that's what the channel is about I find stuff and I tear it apart so I apologize but I uh, I do like to share some of the weird finds that I have with you guys and I hope that you guys at least appreciate um, how complex some of this technology used to be um, it's simplified it's more um, efficient on an, on resource usage for example most Apple computers and even a lot of Windows machines now have a lot less gold in them than they used to. And they've micronized the MOSFETs and the resistors and transistors to the point that it's extremely efficient compared to what it used to be. I'm sure people are going to find ways to make things even better. Anyway, that's it. That's uh, the end of the video officially. Um, please leave a comment. Uh, hopefully I haven't made everybody in the world angry at me for tearing these old things apart. Um, chances are they wouldn't work anyway. You'd have to have SCSI drives and who knows. I'm sure somebody's got a storage of SCSI drives out there, but not me. These things are all scrap. Okay. Well, have a good night. Again. Bye.